Welcome to the 14th MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover logging real-time GPS data into MATLAB. We will be using the US Global SAT EM406A GPS module. This is a 20-channel GPS receiver with 10 meter accuracy without wide area augmentation system and 5 meter width. The GPS module is connected to the Arduino with this pinout. When the GPS shield is held with the headers facing to the right, the top cable goes to ground, next cable goes to 5 volt, the next cable goes to port 5, and the cable after that goes to port 4. These are the software serial RX and TX ports, respectively. The GPS module serial connection outputs a number of different messages, distinguished by the five characters after the dollar sign. The one we want to look for is started with GPGGA. Each value is separated with a comma and represents a value, as shown in this table. Let's look at how to interface this module with the Arduino. First, we include the software serial library with this line. This allows the Arduino to talk to the module over a software serial link. Then, mode is used to hold the incoming request from MATLAB. IM is the incoming message from the GPS. Incoming car it will hold the incoming character from the GPS, and count will keep track of the length of the incoming message. Next, initialize the software serial connection on port 4 and 5, and store in the variable GPS. Then initialize the variables lat, lat d, lng, lngd, and time. Then, in setup, we start the serial link to the computer and the serial link to the GPS module. Then, we have a while statement that waits until it receives a dollar sign from the GPS module, which means the GPS module is ready. Then, we do the character handshake with MATLAB. In the main loop, if there are characters available to be read from the GPS, we read the next one, check if that is equal to dollar sign. 36 is ASCII decimal notation for dollar sign. If it is, that means the line has been completed and we can parse the line. If the line starts with GPGGA, then we will parse it. The following code creates a buffer to hold the line, copies time from the message, and then converts the car array into a float and stores it in time. Then, we do the same for latitude. Lat D will hold N or S, then we do the same for LNG. LNGD will hold E or W. Then, because the message has been parsed, we reset the count. If the incoming character was not dollar sign, then we add the character to the message and increase the count. If there is data available to be read from the PC, read it, and then use the switch. Each case represents one of the following, time, latitude, latitude D, longitude, or longitude D. After programming the Arduino, let's look at how to bring that data into MATLAB. We'll need the setup serial function created in the first tutorial and a modified version of the readACC function shown here called readGPS. The input is S, the serial communication structure created by setup serial. We request each value from the Arduino and save them to their variables, using the same characters from the switch statement in the Arduino code. Then we return all the variables. Then, in the gps.m script, to read GPS data and print it. In the first section, enter the COM port that the Arduino is mounted to, and subsequently run setup serial. Then, in the while loop, we will get the GPS data using read GPS, display it, and then pause for half a second before requesting it again. When this is run, we see MATLAB outputting the GPS data from the Arduino. It might take a while for the GPS to lock on and display values other than zero for latitude and longitude. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.